Alright, I'm going to show how to set up your Bluetooth laser scanner with uh, for use with HandyFox. Uh, I'm going to be using a socket scanner in this case, but this instruction also applies to all kinds of Bluetooth scanners. So the very first thing we need to do with a new scanner is to switch it to the SPP mode. So you will need to find a page in the scanner's manual that tells about Bluetooth connection modes and how to switch between them and in this section we will need the barcode that puts the scanner into the SPP mode, serial, serial port profile. So I'm going to turn, up, turn on the scanner and then scan this barcode and it's gonna give you a sound like this. So now I'm going to take my mobile device and go into the system settings and into the Bluetooth settings and th these menus may look different for you by the way and I'm gonna make sure Bluetooth is on and shortly you should find my scanner here yeah there it is so I will tap on it to pair it with the scanner Any moment now? Yeah, there we go. Okay, now it's paired. Now I need to add the scanner in the HandyFox app as well. So I will open HandyFox and go into Admin, Settings, Select Scanner, and then I'm going to hit Scan Bluetooth. And in a minute, it should uh, give us a selection of all the scanners it sees, which will probably be just one. There we go, so this is our scanner. I'm selecting it and hitting the button and saving everything. So now when I go to any screen in HandyFox where scanning is applicable, it should uh, give me the scanner connected message. Yep, yeah, there we go. And now it should recognize the barcodes I scan. For example, I have a, a couple of uh, boxes for testing here. So let me scan this one. Oh, it was actually, this item was actually already highlighted. So let me highlight something else and then scan this item. And there we go, it recognizes that I, I have uh, selected this one. So let me, uh, let's see how this works with inventory counting. So I'm gonna start scanning and it's incrementing the count every time I scan this item and if I scan a different one it's gonna scroll the list to that one and increment its count so everything's working alright I hope this was helpful goodbye